Hello students, now we will discuss about some of the points where the G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase of interphase during cell cycle and cell division are checking whether that stage is completely or successfully completed or not. Those points are called as checkpoints. So we can write like a checkpoint is a stage in eukaryotic cells eukaryotic cell cycle at which cell examines <coughs> internal and external conditions and cell decides to move to the next stage or not. We can also say checkpoints are controlling mechanisms. in eukaryotic cell cycle. Now, how many checkpoints are there? There are totally three checkpoints. In which uh, time means stage means interface. We know that interface is the uh, time period when cell is preparing itself for either mitotic division or meiotic division. During this time, cell prepares itself for next M phase which includes mitosis or meiosis. First one, we have said three checkpoints. First one is G1 S checkpoint. Means between, so if this is the interface time period, I have drawn circle, it doesn't mean that it is rotating like this. Just, just I am indicating as time period. So some time we are giving for G1 phase. Some time for S phase sometime for G2 phase and here will be M phase and here will be cytokinosis later will be G0 phase. <coughs> so this line indicates the time period of completion of G1. So here by this time the cell checks whether that G1 phase is successfully completed or not. Second one G2 M phase Third one, spindle fibers formation at anaphase to check. This can also be written as at the end of metaphase. First one, G1 checkpoint. At G1 checkpoint, there are some other terms. In eukaryotic cell, under eukaryotes also, in mammalian cells, cells, this G1 checkpoint, it is called as restriction checkpoint and in yeast cells this G1 checkpoint is called as yes starting starting checkpoint 
और स्टार्ट पॉइंट और इन दिस गिवन चेक पॉइंट फर्स्ट और इनिशियली डीएनए डैमेजेस आर चेक इफ देयर आर एनी डैमेजेस और नॉट डीएनए इज चेक फॉर एनी डैमेजेस नेक्स्ट सेकंडली सिंथेसिस ऑफ और सिंथेसाइज्ड एंजाइम्स एटीपी एंड प्रोटीन्स आर चेक नेक्स्ट थर्डली सीडीकेस आर चेक व्हाट आर सीडीकेस साइक्लिन डिपेंडेंट काइनेजेस दिस आर यूज्ड एस इनिशिएटर्स फॉर ट्रांसक्रिप्शन when cell finds each and every uh, means point or important uh, substances are perfectly or completely formed or not then only cell will be moving into next s phase so second one g2 m phase it checks checks the changes happen happened in yes phase and synthesizes the reduced biomolecules like enzymes proteins etc if necessary and then moves to m phase next one spindle fiber formation at the m phase spindle fiber formation check point this is also called as m check point this is means this happens at metaphase anaphase transition what does it mean it means that it happens at the end of metaphase and at the beginning of anaphase because during metaphase you can see all chromosomes are aligned on the equatorial plane in the next stage means in ana phase pr will be the centrio the spindle fibers will be attached to the kinetochore of the chromosome so what is kinetochore if this is the chromosome middle part will be centromere now on either side will be pr will be the kinetochores so here the cell cycle will check whether spindle fibers are exactly attached to the kinetochores to drag the chromosomes to opposite side during anaphase or not to drag the chromosomes to opposite poles during anaphase at metaphase ending cell cycle will check or cell will check whether the spindle fibers that are formed from the centrioles are whether are attached to the kinetochores properly or not this phase is called m checkpoint or spindle fiber formation checkpoint